Hi guys, this is Dr. Neil Malden from the Western Veterinary Cancer Center, part of the Western Veterinary Specialist and Emergency Center located in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Um, I put up a video uh, dealing with some very basic cancer terms that you may deal with. Uh, and I've had a couple of requests to perhaps break that down into more manageable chunks. So what I've done is pull out each set of definitions that I talked about in the longer introduction to cancer terminology video and put them in little bite-sized pieces. So watch them each individually, watch the entire thing, and be sure and give us feedback if you found them useful. So then uh, a completely different treatment modality for cancer is radiation therapy. Uh, and radiation therapy is the delivery of damaging, also called ionizing radiation, targeting a tumor while attempting to spare normal tissues. And really that is, there have been huge technological advances in the treatment of, of patients, both human and veterinary, with radiation therapy. And most of those technological advances have been improvements in our ability to position a patient and to kind of lock them into place and make that positioning very reproducible, uh, but also to deliver the dose of radiation just to the tumor site while really sparing uh, the normal surrounding tissue. Uh, you should think of radiation therapy as primarily used to treat locally aggressive tumors. Um, so unlike chemotherapy, radiation therapy does not impact the whole body. It is only going to treat a tumor where it's aimed. Uh, so we use radiation to try to get a, a tumor under control uh, that is otherwise uh, behaving in an unfriendly manner uh, to its neighboring normal tissue. Um, we sometimes use radiation as adjuvant therapy in patients that uh, we know we need to gain local control of tumor, but then that tumor may also have uh, metastatic potential. And, and since radiation is not going to impact the whole body, we know we're going to have to get chemotherapy on board if we're really going to have a chance of getting that tumor long-term controlled. Uh, probably the best example there uh, right now is, is uh, canine oral melanoma. So melanoma is the most common tumor in the mouth of elderly dogs. Uh, and it, we've got a protocol where you use radiation to control the tumor within the mouth and then follow up with a vaccine. There's actually a melanoma vaccine that, that primes the body's immune system to, to fight off the, the spread of the disease. Uh, and that's actually been a fairly successful strategy. But neither one of those things by themselves would be controlling for an individual melanoma patient. You really have to do both of those things if you're trying to treat that patient with curative intent. Uh, really think about radiation and surgery as being two tools designed to accomplish the same goal, that of local tumor control. Um, surgery sometimes uh, wins uh, because I don't think there's really any better tumor uh, or any better treatment for a tumor than being able to remove the cancer from your patient, uh, but surgery is often limited by anatomical constraints. Um, you may need to do an amputation to get the tumor in a patient that can't really tolerate an amputation. He's got another bad leg or, or something along those lines. Um, the biggest downside to radiation therapy is that um, while it's not usually anatomically constrained, we can get places with radiation that we may not be able to get with a scalpel blade. It can fail if the tumor is inherently resistant to radiation. And that's true of any form of cancer treatment. Just because we decide to treat a tumor with some form of therapy, doesn't mean that the tumor will actually care. Uh, and so you will see patients that you do everything by the book, you follow the treatment recommendations exactly right, and the tumor sort of scoffs at your efforts and just continues to behave in an aggressive manner. Uh, and that's really just the nature of the beast, the fact that, uh, that cancer doesn't always do what we want it to do. And then I guess uh, something that we'll talk about quite a bit in another, in another video is that the, the technical advances I had mentioned earlier, such as stereotactic radiation therapy and intensity modulated radiation therapy, have greatly improved our ability to treat cancer. So to put a really big dose of, of radiation into, a, into the, the cancer itself while sparing the normal healthy tissue around it. And that's a huge boon to our cancer patients. Uh, because we are getting a better controlling dose of radiation into the cancer 
uh, with much less toxicity to the patient than what we used to get with the more conventionally fractionated protocols. Uh, so pretty interesting stuff, and, and the technical advances in radiation therapy over the last five years or so have been really, really dramatic.